76 miles on this thing? It's brand new. <laughs> brand right new. off the dealer, like <laughs> out of the dealership. <laughs> Why do we have this? <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to Garage Garage. Yep, another fine day in Southern California. We finished our Crazy Card XL. It wasn't as good as I thought. But we finished it and we stored it. We stored it high, like the wing. Today, we got an extra special project for you guys. Something I probably not gonna help too much on, but do enjoy. And that is the Fiat. That's right, we got Fiat here. We're gonna hand this off to old Dan because uh, way too nice for me. It's pretty nice for Garage Garage in general, so I'm excited for it. We're teaming up with Fiat again for the Hoonigans Wanted Driver Search. This time it's open to men and women. So if you sign up, you get a chance to win this bad boy if you win the competition. Sign up, hooniganswanted.com. Try and be one of us. Join the gang. We we're trying to look for another Hoonigan. If you want to get in something this nice that we're going to build on Garage Garage, by we I mean Josh and I, Brad's going to get the, get the heck out of here. So we're not going to use as much Sawzall and stuff this time and it's going to be a little bit more well calculated because Josh and I will be at the hands of that. Absolutely. And we're going to make it a little bit more track oriented. We're going to make it look a little bit cooler even though I kind of like it how it is right now. I want to take it home. We haven't even got a chance to look at it yet. I haven't even drove it yet. We just pulled it in. Pretty much. So it's, it's kind of scary to already start working on a car this nice, this new. But I'm going to take a closer look at it and just see what this thing's all about before we actually dig into it. So let's check it out. Let's take a look. Josh, what do we got here, man? Got a 124 Fiat. 124 Spider. Lightweight, real wheel drive, turbo four cylinder. I'm pretty excited to drive it, but I, I don't think we get to drive it. That's the problem. We just get to build it. We and we hand it off to the Hoonigans Wanted people. Yeah. Let's just take a gander at what we have inside. Like, man, it's styled really nicely on the inside. We never get anything this new. So the same, like, Shark Kurt's my favorite car. This is just. A newer version of that. I like the, the red stitching is kind of cool. There's speakers in the headrests. I just feel like I could drive this like crazy. Ooh. Ooh. Good sounds. How many miles are... Uh, 76 miles on this thing? It's brand new. <laughs> brand right new. off the dealer, like brand out of the dealership. <laughs> Why do we have this? If we just take this thing on the 710 like right so now. So she's a six speed. Oh man, it feels really tight. Yeah, that's a pretty good short shift though. I'm sure this thing's pretty fun to slide around. I've seen Hurt slide one around before. I haven't got to, and I don't think we're gonna get to in this because we have to keep this kind of nice, but turn that baby off. I wanna see what's under the hood. Oh, pop that hood. So yeah, Turbo 4, we got that Garrett sitting right there. That's really far back. Look oh, how far back that sits. It's back. That tucks back into the firewall. Yeah, good. way back into the firewall there. In the front of the engines. Everything's behind the wheels. I mean, this has to be a road monster. You sit in it and it feels like something you just wanna go after yeah. and just drive. The wheelbase is one inch. It's just one or two inches bigger than the NA Miata. Right. Which is awesome because that's one of the most fun cars to drive for me. It hasn't been that way in a while and these things are just like back to that day of of having just fun. They should you know? give us like one more to like cut the body off and make a shark cart <laughs> make a supercharged <laughs> version. Super like turbocharged shark like cart. Shark cart V2. Well this has about 180 horsepower from what I thought which is quite good for a 1.4 liter. Like monster. that's that's a monster. This is too much brake for such a little car, which is awesome. Just throw out that anchor when you have to. I bet this thing rips around a track. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. We got a, a few parts to throw on it. I think we should just get started. We got some Turbo Smart goodies is what we turbo got. Turbo Smart goodies? Yeah. Turbo Smart sent us a really cool care package. 
some really nice things. Um, but this, not, that's not for today. We're not doing that. Today, we're gonna get into these BC racing coilovers, and that's what we're gonna do today. Oh, you got a knife on you already? I'm already a step this, ahead. This is a dull knife. Yeah, it is. I thought you came prepared, Josh. Definitely double box it. No, oh, don't care. No instructions. Oh, these are so straightforward, though. Look at these bad boys. We might as well get them out because we need them. Wood Swift Springs. BC hooked it up. We got there. One right, one front. It's always like the first thing and the best thing I ever do to my car. You know, you always think like engine swap is the biggest thing. But man, you put coilovers on there. Absolutely. You got to get that stance. Yeah. Well, and it just makes the car just drive lovely. Right. What do you think, Nelson? I think they're sick. <laughs> I think we should get you to it. Put I, think, them on I think I need some on my, no, on my Civic. Yeah. You want to get down on your Civic? Yeah, let's do it. You want some BC coils on your Civic? Rally build. This is straightforward. Now it's out of the box. I think we just put it on that and uh, change the ride height a little bit. Absolutely. I know I've said it a few times, but just as a reminder, if you want to try and win this car, sign up right now at hooniganswanted.com. All the information should be there for you. It should be pretty easy to get through. Got to have some talent to win this bad boy. But in addition to this awesome Fiat that you can win, we're also going to build a trailer on this series that you can tow behind this vehicle. It's going to be track ready for you, so you can take this to the track. It'll be hitched right up to the car. It's going to be a pretty cool build. I think it's a cool idea for almost any car if you're going to take it to the track. But that is also available for the win. You're going to get this and a trailer. So sign up, hooniganswanted.com right now. Follow the instructions, should be pretty simple, and see what you got. Let's get started, Josh. Coilovers are done, that was super easy. Way too easy. Yeah, BC coils went straight up in there. We're not gonna adjust the ride height today because we don't have wheels yet, but. I'm so we're, excited to we're put pretty this pretty well thing done. on the ground too. I know, I know. <laughs> I just wanna see it lower. Like we, it, it is already gonna be lower, but I actually wanna look underneath this thing because I have not seen it yet. Right, it seems easy. <laughs> Dude, when do we ever get a car this clean in the shop? Right? Everything's so simple. Oh, it looks like it's got same little yeah, power, brace. Power plant frame. Okay. Man, this is thick too. That's, yeah, that's, that's way stronger, stouder than Shark Heart. exhaust all the way back. But we're gonna take that out. Diff looks a lot beefier than the old Miatas. Pretty much the same, just way, way, way upgraded and way more developed. Subframe is so, man, everything is so easy to get to. What I wanna do for the trailer that we were speaking about before mm -hmm. is we will take the rear suspension parts and all the rear suspension components and use them on the trailer. So if you went to go go off and bent an arm or an upright or something like that, or broke a coilover, you can take it off the trailer, put it on your car, take your car home, and then figure out the rest later. What do you think, just tube work? I think just tube work. The only challenge I foresee is that on this arm right here, pivot point to pivot point here is pretty narrow. Yeah, the upper would be the only thing I'd have to worry about there. But if we were to set it up on top of it. Right. So even if we could use a subframe, it would be cool. Or we're going to have to replicate this subframe mm -hmm. out of tubing, which I have no problem doing. Basically, what we should do is just measure this. Absolutely. I think we should draw some plans for this trailer. <laughs> Why? Because that's going to be way harder than modifying this car. <laughs> <laughs> so we should probably get on that. I don't know. We'll sketch something up. Yeah. Why not? All right. Let's get drawn. Something happened in there? Yeah, something happened in that. there. So, why don't we do, I'm gonna have to do like a 3D dimensional like version of this actually. What? This is a single axle idea. You know, we have our elevated trailer here, super kind of basic or whatever the hell, but then an actual structure that comes up like this, and then has the control arms, upper and lower, mount another set of wheels up top here, and then there's two, and then two more wheels sit down low like that. So the whole assembly- Is two made of the arms to hold it in place. Yeah, 
So that's a cool idea. Using the trailer, but hey, if you need another control arm or whatever, it's already elevated. You don't even have to like mm -hmm. bend down, unbolt it off the trailer. It's already there right in front of your face. That's true. And we already got two wheels mounted to it to just kind of make it look cool and save space in the rest so of the trailer. So I still say we use the uh, hubs in the on the oh, yeah. axle no, so we can run the same wheels and stuff too yeah but that is a good idea i like that and then if you would if we want to be even more gangster we could even like make this go all the way up to the front here or something like that and do the front suspension here down here will be the jack over here will be the jug and the toolbox now it just looks like a bunch of scribbles now it looks yeah it's pretty horrible <laughs> so but you kind of follow where i'm going with it yeah so maybe like here's a side view so here's like front suspension, rear suspension, toolbox, fuel jug. Now how do we make that look cool? You can, instead of like having this flat like this, maybe we can do like a radius bent. We're gonna have to do a lot of cool tube work for sure. Yeah. Cause uh, you like to do it, I like to do it. That's mm -hmm. gonna be cool. Or maybe I'm exaggerating these dimensions. We can always like make it like Even the solid axle thing doesn't really have to be a solid axle because we can just bolt it to the uprights and the hub. So, but there would be no suspension involved in that. Yep. And then I like to do like a shh, duh, blap, 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 yeah. blap, something like that mm -hmm. for the structure just to make it look rad. But this thing would have like the way that would be, it would be like you have a full on like extra set of suspension front and rear. You just gotta, all we have to do is keep this mindful. What we need to do is measure everything out. Mm -hmm. We need to measure all the parts that we have and see like how much they weigh and the wheelbase. This is something we'll have to start next time because we're running out of time. This is gonna be sick. I don't wanna give this away and that. I want both of these things. Maybe I wanna be on Hoonigans Wanted. Whoever wins this should be really happy. I hope you guys all enter. I hope to see some good competition. I won't be excited to give this away, but maybe I will. Maybe the smile on someone's face would be should be good enough. We're gonna start on this next time. We're gonna hopefully have a good idea. If you follow along with this, we've got some more upgrades for the Fiat. We've got some BC Forge wheels. We have MagnaFlow to replace the exhaust. We have K&N coming in for some intake filtration stuff. Pegasus Racing. Pegasus Racing for all kinds of different cool stuff. We might have to figure out a couple things for that because they have a lot of stuff. And then uh, we got Turbo Smart sending a, a bunch more things for us too. So we have quite a bit to do uh, to the car rather than just the trailer. But I think we're pretty excited for the trailer. It's gonna be a cool build regardless. So follow along, we'll put all those new parts on. Do we wrap this? Yeah, wrap it. We have to say that's a wrap? You wanna do it? No, you do it. Come on, Nelson. Come on, bro. Casey, from the lips. Come Casey. Come on, don't be a cacao. That's a wrap! I feel super close to you right now. <laughs> More boys, eh? What's up, homie? <laughs>